Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Wednesday, the 14th of December, and the time is 10 minutes to 2 p.m. We are on the 20th day of Kislev, the year 5783 after creation. And that word after creation is a is especially apt for this for this teaching. Um, brothers and sisters, we are definitely I, I've seen a video this morning. First thing I saw this morning, I saw this video. And just looking at it, we are definitely heading into an apocalyptic world. Brothers and sisters, there's a company that's called Ecto Life. And it is an artificial baby farm facility. It looks exact. I think it's German, but it looks exactly like a scene from the Matrix. My stomach is still turning. It looks evil. It looks creepy. It looks like a Hollywood movie, but in real life. Brothers and sisters, that movie, The Matrix, was made in 1999. And it seemed so far-fetched. But yet, here we are, 23 years later, in one lifetime. And here is this movie coming to life. It is so freaky, it's had my stomach turning all morning. I can't keep my breakfast down, really, it's really bad. This company is called Ecto Life. You know, I saw the su um, Swiss suicide pods and I knew, okay, the end is here. They can wheel a pod to your house and you can eliminate your own life by push of a button. And then they wheel it out or take it away again with your body in it. With a coffin and ready for, 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 for your burial. Now, this thing is beyond evil. Talk about Dr. Evil and Frau. This is just pure, pure evil. My stomach is still turning. I can't, literally can't keep my breakfast down. It is so sick. Genesis 6 verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days and after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children, and they bear children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. Not good, only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man from, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man, beast, creeping thing, fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, you can listen to your, you can watch your, but everything. I said, I said it before in a previous teaching that the womb is under attack. Um, me, women are losing their natural ability. Um, Satan is after the womb. And now he's making women's wombs null and void with this kind of technology. You can watch your baby grow in a pod. You can play on your phone. You can play music to your baby. There's an artificial umbilical cord that comes in. And you know, the first thing that I heard when I saw this evil, and the first thing I heard was, uh, what was prominent in this ad was, um, the focus is on renewable energy. And that is eerily similar to the Matrix. They say that this um, the babies will be grown with... Uh, um, Sustainable energy. Now in the matrix, the human life became a battery. And this just mimics. Hollywood is, you know, it's, there's your proof. Hollywood 
is mimicking. It's telling you the future. The movies that you watch for entertainment is telling. Satan is mocking us. He, and you think here yeah, you're watching entertainment. You're being entertained. You're giving. You're dedicating two hours of your life to this screen. But it is programming you to accept what you're seeing on TV. Brothers and sisters, Hollywood is evil. There's your proof. Um, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse, I'm so flustered by this, I can't get this horrible image out of my head. It says here, chapter 3, this is the end times. This is, a, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Verse 3, I'm not going to read the, I'm just going to focus on the first word. Verse 3, without natural affection. Where is the natural affection of a mother or a female towards that child in that pod? When you walk into a store, people Google and gaga at the baby. In my lifetime, it happened. I used to walk around with I used to uh, when I'm with my nephew and I used to stand. I was very young, and then he was a very cute baby with puffy cheeks. And then the people, all racers, they will come up to him and say, and pull his cheeks and say, Oh, he's so cute, he's so cute. You do not see this anymore in the stores. You do not see this in public. Whether it's, I don't know if it's because of the pandemic, people have lost their affection, have lost their love for one another. The truce, the earth says, without natural friction, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, Fierce despises of those that are good. They prefer bad people. Brothers and sisters, we are definitely there. I, uh, I, I'm fighting. I'm fighting this gag reflex and I'm fighting back the tears because I know what the Lord is. The Lord's heart is grieving for this kind of evil. Jeremiah um, chapter 1 says, Oh, don't tell me I lost it. Uh, I lost it. Uh, Je Jeremiah chapter 1, just hold on. Jeremiah chapter 1 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Where is God? Where is this before I, 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 I knew you in the womb? Where is the womb? This is Dr. Evil that created. God did not create these babies. Where is this verse there? Before I formed you in the belly. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. God has got nothing to do with this child. How is this child going to grow up without a place and a, without authority and dominion in this earth? Brothers and sisters, we need to wake up here. You need to know that the time, your time has come. That is what the Lord, when I saw this, I don't know if I'll be able to get through this day without thinking about this. Because that is just pure evil. That is just pure evil. Psalm 127. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in, in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of his womb. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. There is no reward for the Lord here. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, it is artificial. It is evil. Second, um, 